Hello, my name is Attila Karpati and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, as usually, the Sunday readings are free on YouTube, otherwise the free card readings are available exclusively to my Patreon page and on the YouTube you can watch the extraction of the card of the day. Uh, many people ask me uh, why it's important to choose a particular tarot deck or work with a particular system. So, those who knows me, uh, you know I work with my own deck and I use my own system. In the description of this video you can find links from where you can purchase these products. Uh, what I believe is important is to choose one particular deck and system and work with that. Uh, it's, after all, it doesn't matter what you like. Uh, you have to experiment and see what's working for you, what fits your style and uh, your uh, spiritual uh, relationship the best. Uh, the difference between my deck and method and the other known uh, method is, is that I adjusted the system to fit the actual universe. Uh, not many people really know and understand the importance of this but uh, for instance the golden down system which is used by uh, Crowley in his deck and to some extent in the Rider Waite deck uh, created by Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith uh, they used, they worked with the ancient uh, vision of the world so they work with the seven traditional, seven classical planets as it was drawn the map of the universe by Ptolemy 2000 years ago. But as we know, uh, our solar system is much more complex, it has more planets and uh, the Earth is not at the center of the solar system and things like that. So here comes the main difference. My deck is and my method, my system is based on and built upon the actual map of our solar system. And I think this is one of the most important features of my deck. And based on this, I developed a correlated system where astrology, numerology, alchemy and Kabbalah are coming together, are creating a common system. It's, it's something that it's easy to understand and easy to work with. The other thing it's about my deck is that it's not a, a artistic tarot deck. Uh, I don't want to have art on my deck because I believe uh, the tarot, it's, uh, each card it's, it's a portal. And these portals are challenging, channeling particular energies. So on my deck I have symbols and I have attributes from astrology, numerology, alchemy and Kabbalah. And I think having these symbols and these elements combined and working together, it's a very efficient deck to perform divination with it. So these are the most important things that you have to understand. And uh, knowing this, uh, you can try, work with this deck, work with my system and see the results. And you can compare it with other decks and see which 
results are better for you, which better your own life and your own experience. The other thing is what I want to tell you and it's very important, it's you can mix these things. Uh, I know it's a, a very common practice nowadays to mix things up, to take something from one system, use it with another deck and combine these things. But I know for fact that they don't work like this and you can do that. There are some tarot decks that are not related to, to any particular system, so-called universal decks, which can be used for uh, for different methods, di different systems of divination. One deck like this is the alchemical, uh, the Jungian tarot uh, by uh, Robert Wang. Uh, the Jungian tarot has no captures on the cards and it can be used with any system. But normally, if you work with uh, the Crowley deck, you should use Crowley system. If you're working with a Rider weight uh, clone or the original Rider weight deck, you should use the explanation and interpretation of the card offered by uh, Arthur Wade. And it's very difficult to transpose these things, combine these things, because astrologically the attribution of the cards are different. The, the Kabbalistic uh, interpretation of the card are different, so the systems are not transposable from one deck to the other. Now let's see the cards for today. Three cards will be extracted. The card of the day the root card and the outcome. Let's see the card of the day. Here we have the Knight of Discs in upright position. Let's see uh, the quote associated with this card. Uh, Rachel Taylor said, we live in a world of instant gratification the world of quick fix. Okay, I think this is a very, very important uh, quote and I'm very happy that I pulled this card and, and uh, have this issue to discuss here. We look for quick fix. We want fast solution for our problems, immediate solutions for our issues. And very often this is not possible. We want something what is physically not possible and sometimes not even emotionally and not even mentally it's possible. So the Knight of Disc signifying gratification and here we have a combination of uh, two a uh, very strong uh, cardinal elements. On the one hand, we have the moon, the ruling planet of, uh, of uh, Cancer, visiting Capricorn. So we have a watery emotional planet visiting a very rigid, very, very uh, hardcore uh, earth sign the Capricorn. And here the greatest challenge is to find the balance between uh, our private life, our emotions, or, or true feelings, and what other people expect from us, and our ambition to become somebody uh, important in the outside world. So this is the challenge of the Knight of Disc. Let's see the other cards now. Here we have the strength card in reverse position for past. 
meaning laziness. It, it means that we are in a phase where we do things but without passion, we only execute the things what is very necessary to do. And the outcome, here we have a king card, also in reverse the position, uh, the king of cups, and it signifies misadventures. The card signifies temptations and that we are giving up to various temptations. It can be something emotional, can be something only imaginary, but we are, we are uh, very uh, tempted to give up and follow these dreams, follow these uh, uh, adventures that may come in our way. It's probably not the best thing to do, but remember, this is only a, a projection of a possible future. This thing didn't happen yet, and by finding here the best solution between what we want, what we feel on the inside, and what it expected from, out, from us on the outside, we can have a, a we can reach balance and then we can avoid this step in the wrong direction. Okay, this was the reading for Sunday. I hope you enjoy it. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Like this video, share this videos, comment, ask me questions and I will answer to them in following videos. Have a great Sunday, have a wonderful week and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. My best wishes. Bye.